Hi, this is Tom Randall from Golden Care. I'm going to try to give you a quick hint today to how to eliminate some surprises you might have and some potential declines that you didn't think about with the Omniflex short-term care product from Manhattan Life. So I'm in the site here now for Manhattan Life and I'm at the 2.0 site and I'm going to click quote and I could put in a, a zip code, excuse me, 36117, have that one for Alabama. I click next and you'll get this screen when you do this and most of you are familiar with this and then you just put in the date of birth for the person. I'm going to cheat and just put in a 61 year old quick and doesn't matter if it's male or female because it's uh, regular rates for unisex rates, excuse me. And the effective date, I'm not going to worry about that today. That's a different subject for different training. When I go into view products, you're going to see that it's going to go in here and it's going to hopefully a little delay here because of the recording. You're going to go down here and be able to see all the different products. If I click on Omniflex short-term care, you're going to see the first thing they're going to ask about is the spouse, okay? So for this example, it doesn't matter if they have a spouse or not. I'm not that worried about it, so I'm going to click no. And uh, does your spouse have it? No. So then you'll get to this screen. This is what I want you to see. If you do a quick quote, you don't worry about any underwriting questions. Remember, you can go right in there and do a quote. I'm going to do the full quote today. And if I click on here, you'll notice the first thing it does is ask, in the last 24 months, have you used tobacco? Okay. And if mom and dad are on here, both of them will be up here. But in this case, I'll say no. If I say yes, it's a 10% load. Okay, then I go down here and it starts asking these health questions, okay? Now I wanna show you a little bit about the actual application. Now here's the actual paper application and we have this available on the site, a fillable app for you. And what I want you to do is look here under the underwriting section. The first part here is the knockout questions and the questions I just showed you on the site itself were not these knockout questions. They weren't these first five. What they do on the 2.0 site is they ask you the second group of questions first, okay? And that's why I wanted to have this little video because in this one, it says if you answer yes, it's not a knockout. It just means that you can't get a full-blown benefit policy. You can only get a limited policy of $100 per day for the home health care, hospital, indemnity, or the facility, right? So again, I'm doing this really quickly and I'm not gonna read all these to you, but these are the questions they ask you first on the 2.0 site. And you'll see that when I go back there. What I wanted to show you today is later on after you design, all they're trying to figure out is if you get a $400 per day facility or $100 per day. That's why they ask you that first on the site. Some agents have had confusion with that where they say, well, then I get in and I design a full blown plan because I answered no to all these questions. Or even if I answered yes, my client thinks they got through the underwriting. And then later on in the e-app, which I won't show you today, but later on in the e-app, you'll see that they're gonna ask you these knockout questions once you go in and start doing the actual application on the e-app. So what some agents have done and what I'd recommend you do if you're doing a screen share or just over the phone or in person, pull out this application itself or pull it up on your screen and just tell people as you're doing your warm up and you're starting the sales process, just go in there and tell them, you know what, you buy these policies nowadays more with your health and your checkbook. So if you don't mind, I'm gonna ask you some health questions first, just to see if you qualify for the coverage that we're looking for, right? And then ask these questions and I won't read them to you. You don't have to fill it out and answer yes or no on this on your screen, because if they answer yes, we can't submit the app. So that'll save you that little bit of confusion. So ask them these knockouts, they're very broad. Almost everybody's gonna get through these, but if you do that, then you might save yourself a little bit of confusion later when you go back to the actual website. And once I answer these health questions, I go in and start designing a plan based on these health questions, which again, are not the knockouts. They're the part two questions. And then once I go in there and start talking to my client, then it'll ask those other knockout questions a few minutes later. So again, this is Tom Randall, just trying to give you a quick way to avoid some confusion for your clients. If you wanna ask those questions first, you can get it out of the way. And then when they come up in the actual EAP, you'll be able to say, these are the same questions I already asked you. I'm just gonna click no for these because we already covered them. Make sense? Hope this helped. Again, this is Tom Randall from Golden Care. Thanks a lot. You have questions? We have answers. Your clients are looking to help protect them from an unexpected health crisis. So what are you waiting for? Contact your marketer and start offering extended care options today.